Prime Heart and Fielding Welcome Yo Our News Channel All India News China Pakistan Water Pincer Against India As part of Quebec, Mega Dams Are Planned in Gilgit Baltistan China, which is working to re-engineer the transboundary flows of rivers originating in Tibet, has taken its dam building frenzy to Pakistan occupied Gilgit Baltistan, which is part of Jammu and Kashmir. In a new challenge to India, which claims Gilgit Baltistan as its own territory, China will fund and build two Indus mega dams at the total cost of $27 billion, according to them signed in Beijing during PM Nawaz Sharif's visit. Them came the same day India announced its boycott of China's Obaur summit, saying no country can accept a project that ignores its core concerns on sovereignty and territorial integrity. Such as the mammoth size of the planned 7,100 megawatt spongy dam and the 4,500 megawatt Basha dam that India does not have a single dam measuring even one third of bungee and power generating capacity. In fact, the total installed hydropower capacity in India's part of J&K does not equal even the smaller of the two planned dams in Gilgit. Still, Pakistan disingenuously rails against India's modest hydropower projects in J&K and has sought fresh international arbitral tribunal proceedings against India over two projects, including the tiny 330 megawatts Kishananga. Even more striking is China's hypocrisy, it bellicosely protested, almost on a daily basis, the Dalai Lama's recent visit to Arunachal Pradesh claiming it to be a disputed territory, although only Beijing disputes India's control over Arunachal. It also held out threats against India jointly exploring with Vietnam for offshore hydrocarbons in Vietnam's exclusive economic zone. Yet it has no compunctions about unveiling projects, under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC, banner, in Pakistan Occupy Jammu and Kashmir, the UN recognized disputed region. Quebec, Obama's flagship program, which will cement Pakistan's status as China's economic and security client, has become a convenient cover for Beijing to include major strategic projects, stretching from Gilgit Baltistan to Pakistan's Chinese built Ganada port. The Bunji and Basha dams are also claimed to be part of Quebec which, by linking the maritime and overland silk roads that China is creating, will gravely impinge on India's security. A grateful Pakistan has given China exclusive rights to run Gwada port for the next 40 years. The Bunchi and Basha dams, which will largely benefit the dominant Punjab province, located downstream, are set to enlarge China's strategic footprint in the rest of Shia majority Gilgit Baltistan. For years, China has stationed several thousand of its own troops in Gilgit Baltistan, ostensibly to protect its strategic projects there, including upgrading the Karakaram Highway and building a new railway and secret tunnels. Quebec has spurred increased concern that Gilgit Baltistan, like Tibet, could get overwhelmed by the Chinese behemoth. Pakistani authorities are responding harshly to anti quebec protests in Gilgit Baltistan, where the corridor is widely seen as opening the path to the region's enslavement by China. The fact that China rules Gilgit Baltistan's Shaksgam, Raskam, Shimshil and Agil valleys, ceded by Pakistan in 1963 to cement its strategic alliance with Beijing, has only added to the grassroots resistance against Chinese projects, which extend to mineral resource extraction. Indeed, the Bunji and Bashadam projects are already facing grassroots resistance because they are viewed locally as instruments to expropriate Gilgit Baltistan's water resources for Punjab province. The Bashadam alone will flood 200 square kilometers of Gilgit Baltistan displacing at least 28,000 residents and submerging some significant archaeological sites. As China uses Quebec to turn Pakistan into a colonial outpost, its new dam projects in Gilgit promise to bring the Indus Waters Treaty IWT, under greater pressure. 
The paradox here is that China does not accept even the concept of water sharing but its activities in Gilgit are likely to impinge on the world's most generous water sharing treaty that remains a colossus among water packs in the world. The 57-year-old IWT has survived mainly because of India's goodwill and full adherence, even as Pakistan violates the Shimla Peace Treaty and canons of civilized conduct. China's construction of dams in a disputed region is set to make Pakistan's water relationship with India murkier. The Chinese role will not only cast a pall on the IWT's future but it could also deal a mortal blow to the treaty. Source, blogs.timesofindia.indiatoms.com Thank you for watching the channel please subscribe the channel new.